What's going on everybody? This is Jaden with Hot Apple, and in this video we're going to be going over some of the new features in iOS 12.1. So iOS 12.1 has released, and in my opinion, it doesn't bring a whole lot to the table, but it does have a few features that are worth mentioning. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and consider subscribing so you can learn more about your iPhone and any of your other Apple devices. So first I'm gonna go over some of the more boring features that we might not really notice right away, and then I'll talk more about some of the features that we're probably gonna be using in iOS 12.1. But just in case you haven't downloaded iOS 12.1 yet, you can go right on over to settings and go to general. You'll see software update right there at the top. And right here it should list your update um, if you're eligible to get 12.1. So if you haven't done that yet and you don't know how to do it, that's how you do it. So there were some iPhone users that were affected by what they call the charging bug. Pretty much if your screen was off and you plug your phone in to charge it, sometimes it wouldn't even charge unless you tap the screen to wake the screen up, then it would charge. iOS 12.1 does take care of that issue, so you should be able to just plug your phone in no matter what and it should charge. And another thing that iOS 12.1 does enable is dual carrier support. So now you can have two phone numbers on the same iPhone. Um, and if you need to look at that, you can go to settings. You're gonna go to general. And if you go to about, if you scroll down, you'll see where it says primary and that'll show your primary cell phone company. And under that, you'll see digital SIM, which will allow you to you know, use two different carriers or add another number to this phone if you want to have a business phone or whatever. So that's another under the hood change in iOS 12.1. Another new feature in iOS 12.1, which is probably what we will be using the most, is the new emojis that it comes with. And as you can see, there are new face expressions, there are new um, avatars that have different kind of hair. Now, um, as you can scroll down, you got different colors, uh, red heads, <laughs> white heads, all kind of stuff. You got different, I don't know if that's villains or superheroes, looks like, looks like villains to me, but feet, <laughs> leg. Okay, got different animals, got a llama, hippo, uh, the bagel, and some of, some of the emojis have been upgraded to show more detail, uh, stuff like that. So and now all of a sudden, hmm, the iPhone icon at the bottom used to be like the iPhone 8 with the bezels. Now it's more like the iPhone 10 and 10s's and stuff like that, the more full screen iPhones. So these, this right here is probably what we will be using the most that comes in iOS 12.1 is the new emojis. And if you don't have iOS 12.1, you're probably gonna see question marks uh, whenever somebody sends you these new emojis. So if you haven't upgraded, go ahead and upgrade if you can. Another one of the main features in iOS 12.1 is that we now have group FaceTime, which I'm not gonna be able to demo, but I will be releasing a video later on demoing that. Um, pretty much you can do just like it says, group FaceTime. And I think you can have up to 32 people in one call, which seems pretty crazy to me but uh check out that demo once i get it released i'll let you know so yeah so those are some of the main features of ios 12.1 um, i just wanted to give a quick overview of some of the changes i didn't want to go too in depth with it because a lot of the changes are under the hood and we won't even see them unless you were having problems which hopefully you weren't but um yeah that's ios 12.1 overview and if you're looking for a new iPhone and you don't really want to pay full price for it, but you want to look for some deals, I'll put a link in the description below. That way you can peruse the site, check some things out, and see what you can find. So check that out. So that wraps it up for our quick overview of iOS 12.1. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, so you can learn how to Apple without the E.